good, 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 good. Here we are, flat cliff, or flat earth, 101. You see that horizon, how it joins the, the clouds join the horizon? That's not because it's a round earth. It's because of the reflective matrix. Same thing as you look down a long hallway in a motel. Everything joins to your eye level. The horizon is always at your eye level. Even when you're in a plane, the horizon is at your eye level. Look, this. this is my hiking pal. You ready to go down, Clipper? You want to rest? Why don't you rest? Why don't we rest? telescope and it could cut through the atmosphere that blocks you. Looking east I think we would look on to a few more Philippine islands. which is north and now we look towards China over here would be America if we had a like I said telescope that could look through the reflective matrix and look through the atmosphere is probably the biggest problem and then there is China We'd be looking across many Philippine islands, Luzon, and then Bantanas, and then finally Taiwan and Hong Kong. Now we're looking to the west. We would see Malaysia and Palawan. To the south, we would see Antarctica and the firmament. The firmament joins the flat earth in Antarctica. And that's why you're not allowed to go anywhere near there, because you'll be able to see all the sun, sun dogs, and you'll get to see the actual firmament and how it reacts a lot differently than what you see here with just a blue sky. But the blue sky is actually a reflection of the water in the firmament. That's what drained down out of the uh, fourth or fifth firmament that made Noah's flood. Anyway, God has revealed so much in the last days. I'm glad he hasn't revealed the exact timing of his return because it makes me keep searching.
we have discovered the design of the universe, which is made up of aeons of a length of 5184 years, which happens to be the same angle, 51.84 of the Giza Pyramid. And if you take the cosine of 51.84, guess what you get? You get small phi, 0.618 which tells you how the Giza Pyramid is related to Phi. And of course the circles that design the Giza Pyramid show its relationship to Phi. A mason by the name of Danny Whit Wilton gave us a final tidbit of the puzzle. He showed me the five degree angle. the bottom of the Giza Pyramid that identifies the New Jerusalem. So if I was standing at the North Pole and I were to look up right now and I had a long enough angling measurement like a huge protractor I could measure five degrees and we would know the size of the New Jerusalem. But we already know that because we can do the trigonometry on the size of the earth that God revealed. Right now we are in the sixth firmament which is 7920 miles in radius. And if you go from Antarctica to Antarctica it's 1584 which is actually a, a very smart anagram for 1580 or for 5184 which is the degrees of the Giza Pyramid. So, I guess I'm thankful that I don't have the right prediction for Giza, which keeps revealing his design of his most marvelous universe. And I consider it very lucky, not lucky, but blessed, to be able to work with him in these last days. <laughs>
He says, old men will have visions and dreams. Now, I'm having a couple visions, but primarily God's revealing things every day. He started with such simple concepts like the Red Book back when we lived in Mindawi. And he took the Red Book and he introduced us to Christian overcomers who had some very faithful studies. And I think we've, uh, we've essentially converted him to a flat earther now. Of course, he doesn't want to lose all his following, so he still doesn't openly preach it, but he does do studies revealing that he believes the flat earth. And then we learned a very important lesson from a man named Mark Lane. I hope he's not a Mason. Um, BibleNumbersForLife.com And he taught us about the BNM, all the numbers and what they mean. These are the numbers that the bad people use and corrupt in order to out sneak you and out trick you in these last days. They teach you that 19 is the sun when in reality 19 is faith. They teach you 18 is a good number but 18 is bondage. They teach you 11 is a good number, but it's mystery and darkness. They teach you 22 is, is their sun god, but in reality it's light and darkness. It's 11 times 2, of course, and 44 is one of their favorite numbers, bloodthirsty killers. And of course 88 is all their timings, the 88022, combining the 88, 88 is righteous afflicted and bloodthirsty murderers